Hey, this is Jason Garden, and take two of the Online Podcast, episode 21. I say take two because I did record this, I got it all chopped up, and I had a weird feeling about it. So I sent it to a friend of mine, and she's like, wow, you sound like a bitch. And I was like, well, okay. I think her actual words were, I want to slap you. Anyway, it does bring me to my point. The numbers game. Uh, if you do follow me on YouTube, first of all, thanks a lot. If you follow me on Spotify, also, thanks a lot. Or any of the other places where you can get podcasts and all that stuff. Uh, again, thank you. You beautiful. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. You may notice... Well, I don't know how podcast numbers go. But if you follow me on YouTube, you notice in my last couple have had like no views and you know what whatever I'm enjoying doing this and if five people enjoy me doing them great if no one enjoys me doing them great it's something for me to do but it does bring me to the point of following numbers especially in regards to doing anything in the arts it is so so easy to get bent out of shape looking at numbers not going up, or soaring, or if you're in a band, concert, turnouts, if you're doing live stuff, in general, just population of crowds, uh, don't go up that. I know it sounds incredibly cliche just to do what you love, and enjoy doing it because you love it, and I know everyone wants to live off doing whatever their art passion is. But, honestly, people enjoy it if you enjoy it. It is imperative to ignore the numbers, ignore the turnouts, uh, revel in any sort of attention you get. When I say attention, you get it makes it sound like you're doing it for attention, which you're probably not. It is so easy to get stuck in a hole not doing something because you don't think the numbers reflect your perceived worth. Just remember that you're doing whatever you're doing because you love doing it. Ignore any metric that's not your personal enjoyment. Of course, I. it's easier said than done some days. You put the numbers, are you worse than me? Sometimes what makes it worth it is that one person comes up and says, cool, and you go, sweet. I myself have one person that I turn to for opinions and... I can trust their word. And that's actually the person who said that you sound like a whiny bitch in the last time I tried to do this. And I trust her word over anyone in the world. Why? Because. Yeah, I trust her more than anyone in the world. And I will continue to do so. Anyway, I keep getting interrupted for dogs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I keep getting interrupted because dogs keep coming to where I'm going. Or where I am. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still on this porch. A little side note. Check out that view. This is what I decided to look at while recording this. Yes, we're still doing construction. Yes, that's why there's saws and metal things all over the place and collections of wood. It's temporary. Anyway, this has been Jason Garden in the Name Podcast. I love you. Have a great day. Dear South. I hate you.